Medical research starts here. An idea is given a research grant, and then scientists work on it in a laboratory. And if the experiments and research indicate it could turn into a new treatment, then it goes to the commercialization team to work on a clinical trial, which may then lead to the treatment being offered as part of our healthcare system. Imagine you are the scientist who has been given the grant. The grant covers things like the scientists working directly on the research idea, equipment needed for the experiment, and supplies. It doesn't cover electricity, IT, Susie and Greg from payroll, the rent on the building the lab is in, the staff who clean the lab, the maintenance of equipment, the commercialization staff, the costs of IP protection, and the commercialization of the research itself. For every $1 of research grant money, we know that we need an extra 63 cents in indirect costs, the items we've shown in pink. Indirect costs are the backbone of our research funding, and we need it to literally keep the lights on. More government support for indirect costs means that our scientists can focus on what they do best and cement Australia's place as a world leader in medical research.